my way to go and meet the man himself. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Are you ready? Cool. Norman in the house. He's dead keen on smashing Yannick Bahati. I'd like to have uh, Yannick dead. <laughs> you know, Yannick has been leveraging off all these little vindications of uh, his losses that he's experienced. Uh, Oppen got tested also straight after the fight. Obviously, he failed the drug test. The contest should be overturned to a no contest. I just want to bring a bit of truth to the matter. Yeah. Well, he said we're all on steroids. Yeah. All of us at FFM are. He said the only way that I'll get down to the weight is if I'm on steroids. That uh, a lot of the athletes over there are on some kind of illegal drugs, especially the CIT and the FFM team. When I, when I, faced, when I faced up against Opperman, I grabbed his chest, I looked at his uh, chest area, I looked a bit, uh, a bit womanly, so we, we call him over here Mantid, so... In my opinion, Yannick is already invested in his loss. He's really looking for the resolution or the excuses or the validation of his subsequent demands. I just want to help him, nudge him into the right direction. Yeah. I'm going to use Yannick and his mindset that he has to elevate me, to propel me to the next level. It's a bit, it's a bit funny how they overreact. I just tell him how it is, they're going to be upset. If, if I see that my opponent's a bit soft on the belly, I'll tell him. If I think he's mentally weak, if I think he's a bit scared, I'll tell him. Cause... He's a bit obtuse, he's a bit petulant. But that's because his ego overshadowed and he is not a martial artist, he just does martial arts. He vindicates him, starts to loss, he, and he sits at the table and he says, Oh, I've lost, I've lost, but I'm still a champion because I'm a champion. How does that work? Mm. He's there to stroke his own ego. At the end of the day, he's there waiting for someone to suck his dick. And unfortunately, I'm not that person. Norm, thank you very much for today, bro. Let's go see Gordon Rudman. How are you doing, champ? Good, my friend. How are you, my mate? Always good. Nice and skinny, brother. Gordy Rude Man in the house. We call the guy. No matter what, he's always prepared and ready to take fights. It's where your people are from. Woohoo! What did your wife say? What did you do, Gordon? <laughs> Why did you accept this fight? Well, for, first and foremost, it's, it's a gorgeous boy fight. It means they come in hard, they come in tough, they, they're resilient, robust. Uh, I know exactly what to expect. Uh, do you think he'll stand and bang with you? Is there anybody left in the UFC that's going to do that? <laughs> I'm hoping you will. I think that'll make a lack of fight. Like the yep. war board. I need the athletes see this. So. Sean's a tough kid, he's tough as nails, I hit him with everything I had. I fought Dino as well and he's clinical, it looks like mental and mad brawling. He's good at what he does. I hope for, for our sake we see a gritty blood war for two rounds, but I don't see a, a world in which the fight ends with Sean winning. Yeah. Cheers, ladies. Gordy, thanks so much for coming anytime, time, Wicky. I really thanks appreciate it. Thanks for the fights. Appreciate it, my man. We love Gordon Rudman. He's always there to scrap. He's always there to take fights. The, the, the fights just after New Year's are always crazy. The athletes really want to prove that this is going to be their year. Who are these guys here? Call the security. Hello, my Rick. Hey, boss. How's it going? Hey, big guy. In the game, man. Hey, we haven't seen you in a long time, in the brother. Game. They talk business, bro. Right? When you ready to fight? Whatever is there. We don't give a damn. Don't give a damn. Let's see who's in the menu. That's it. You and Ivan in May. It's a really good matchup. Um, I'll, be, I'll be more than ready. Okay, Ricky Machales, thank you, Sweet, man. You're a fucking legend. Okay, it's always soon. cool to see you, bro. To my next one coming, I'm waiting <laughs> for you. Cheers, gentlemen. Away, take care, man. I'm leaving you at my offices. <laughs> I'll look after my people, okay? Gotta go get my hair done. And then I'm meeting Simon Steven to shoot an episode of The Kludge. So that should be cool. I'm late. Can you work with him? It'll be an honor. It'll be an honor. <laughs> How you, buddy? Shot Del. I love it, Dave. You love it. You're the best. You. No, you're the best. Thanks for looking you're after me. We are at our interview. EFC. G R A E M E. All done. I was actually supposed to do this interview quite a while ago. What had happened was there were so many changes on the fight card and such a lot of craziness going on that I asked Simon if we could possibly postpone it. So it should be exciting, lots to talk about at least. Is this your funeral? Sad day for South African sports. What an unbelievable contribution that man made to South African rugby.
Wow, Kums! Hi, girl. How are you? Yeah. You got Yannick Bahati on there. Eh? Yeah, look at that. Is it any good? It's a Kinch movie. You better look out, man. It's hey? a movie. Is it a horror story? So we're gonna take Graham. We're gonna take Graham into makeup. An ugly fucker. And uh, we need to fix everything for TV so people don't turn off all their TV screens on Mars that don't crack. Yeah, let's do some makeup. Can I have some of this uh, Lumo yellow around the eyes? Um, I'll go for a pin. Look at the control room. I thought it was good. It needed a bit more drama. I'm not into the drama. I'm into telling people about the fight fight situation. Simon says I need more drama in my vlogs. Yeah, that's true. Well, I did an interview with him and I told him about all the up and coming yeah, headline yeah. title fights. So you can definitely yeah. see that on Clinch. I don't want to steal his thunder. This Holly guy coming out from the UK taking on Martin. It's another fantastic. And it's another Brit for you to support. Yeah, another Brit. So thank you very much for having me on your show, big man.